In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a beautiful forest like this in Blender. Also, if you want to download the project files, you will get it on my Gumroad page, link is in the description. The foundation of any 3D scene is reference. So I usually search references on Pinterest because it gives great suggestions. For reference collection, I use a software called PureRef. It's free and really great. So I have this bunch of references which I think is enough for me to get started. So in Blender, let's add in a plane and press N to open up this menu. And I will set the dimensions to 150 meters, which is large enough for our forest. Then press Ctrl A to apply the scale of the plane. Then add the displace modifier and hit new. Then go to its texture and set it to cloud. So right now you won't see any displacement on the plane because we don't have any geometry. So go to edit mode and right click and subdivide and type in here 100. Now you can see the pattern a little bit. So let's shade it smooth and add a subsurf modifier and set it to 2. Then try playing with the size of the cloud texture. In my case, a value of 40 and depth of 30 works best. Now I will start establishing my shot by placing the viewport on the desired area and then add in a camera. Then press Ctrl Alt and 0 to place camera to view. Now I will add in a 2 meter cube which will act as a human reference. Now play with the camera placement until you are satisfied. You can also change the strength of the displacement from the modifiers. In my case, I am using strength of 4. Now if you can't see your camera in the viewport since our scene is very huge, you can go to camera properties and under viewport display increase its size. Now with the plane selected, go to sculpt mode and scroll all the way down until you find this mask brush. So set its strength to 1 and now draw a mask on the path you want to make. And also mind the scale of the path in comparison to our human. So after you are done drawing the path, you can press Ctrl I to invert the mask. Then scroll down till you see this mesh filter. With that selected, drag to the left and now you can see that the unmasked part is going down, which will represent our path. But just don't overdo it or it will look awkward. Now let's draw several wet paints which we will require during scattering objects. So go to wet paint mode and you can see that our path is not visible. So click this wet paint drop down and you can see here opacity. So decrease it according to your convenience. Now I will paint across the path and I will also rename it. Now let's create one more wet paint and it will be for the grass. So I will just paint it where grass will be visible. In case you want to erase, you can use this subtract brush to erase. I will create one more wet paint for trees which will be spread in a wider area but not very near our path. Now let's texture our terrain. So in shading view, let's create a new material. Also, let's turn on Node Wrangler from add-ons, which will enable us to do our work in faster pace. So let's go to Polyhaven and download some materials. So I will be using this Aerial Grass, Forest Ground 1, Forest Ground 3 and Forest Leaves 4. And then in Blender, with the principal BSDF selected, Press Ctrl Shift T and select the PBR texture you just downloaded. So first I will add Aerial Grass. Now you can see the scale of the texture is not correct. To make it physically accurate, you can see the measurement of the texture on any website you download the texture from. So just divide the dimension of the terrain with the dimension of the texture to get the accurate size. Then duplicate the principal BSDF again and press Ctrl Shift T to add the forest ground one texture. Now to mix both BSDF, hold down Ctrl and Shift 
and right mouse drag on the principal BSDF. Now to randomize both textures, add a noise texture and plug it into the factor. Then plug the vector of the mapping node into the vector of the noise texture. Now you can add a color ramp to decrease the fall off between the two. And you can play with the noise texture for different results. Now we need a mask for the path material that we are going to make. So add an image texture and hit new and let's make it 2k texture and I will call it as path mask. Now in texture paint mode, paint white across our path. So the white color will be the ground and the black color will be the grass. Also don't forget to save the image or it will not work. Now let's duplicate the principal BSDF again to add the rest of the two path materials. Now mix the mix shader and BSDF and plug our ground mask into the factor. And now you will see that we have successfully masked the path. And now let's mix the two path materials. And now you can copy the same noise texture setup for the factor of the path mix shader. And also don't forget to plug the vector. And in case if you are using displacement maps, you can mix them as well and set the mode to multiply. And there we have it, our evergreen beautiful forest in Blender. So if you like the tutorial, <laughs> oh I was just kidding, there's lot more to do. Now it's time to scatter some grass. So you will get high quality grass on Polyhaven. But uh, I will be using the botanic add-on in Blender. So I will just bring some grass in my scene. Now let's go to geometry nodes tab and don't worry it won't be any difficult anymore. Uh, we will only need three nodes. So distribute points on faces and also decrease the density because this is a huge terrain and can even spawn millions of instances which will crash Blender. So then instances on points and join geometry. Now I will disable my grass collection and bring it into the graph and plug it into the instances. Also check these checkboxes and pick instance. Now add a math node and set that to multiply and plug it into the density and the other end into the input. Now you can see this value in the modifier. So click this ribbon kind of button and set it to the vertex group we made earlier which in this case is our grass. Now you can see it is only scattered in the area we painted. Now you can change the multiply value to change the density. But you can see after adding this much of instances, my viewport is getting slower. And we are still about to get started. So a simple hack to it is let's enable our grass collection and select them all and go to object properties, viewport display, and while holding the ALT key, change that to bounce. Now the viewport performance is significantly faster and the cool thing about it is that you can still see your grass in rendered view. Now I am tweaking the weight paint a little bit. Also you can plug the value into the input to get the value in the modifier stack. And now it's time to scatter trees. I am using trees from botanic add-on but if you want to create your custom trees inside of blender then I recommend watching this video of mine on how to create cool looking trees inside blender and the tree creation is completely free and it also gives decent trees so go and watch that. So now I will bring 3 to 4 trees in my scene and I will set them as bounds as well. Then I will use the same grass geo nodes for trees. Just click this number to make it a single user copy so that it won't affect the original grass one. And just replace the grass with the trees and change the weight paint to trees as well. Now I will tweak the trees weight map according to my scene. Then to get random variation every time, I am changing the seed value until I like one. There will be a lot back and forth with scenes like this where the placement of the object is always random. So take your best time to make it. I added a sky texture to view my forest clearly 
but I am not focusing on lighting right now. I will tell you my final lighting setup later. Now for the trees I added a random value node and plugged it into the scale of the instances which will give randomness of size of trees. And one to the rotation and change its type to vector and only randomize the z value. Then you can change the seed value of the scale and rotation as well and now you have infinite possibilities of random forest. But now we can directly see the horizon which is not possible in a forest. So what I did was in edit mode I took the last stage and moved it down with proportional editing a little bit. And now it looks like forest. Now I will scatter some twigs across the path and little bit near the grass. And then some dead leaves as well. Just change their color to yellowish orange. That too I think you will find on Polyhaven. Then I scattered some rocks as well and made a separate weight map for them. Also I am using the same GeoNode group for all just with different weight maps, different scale and different seed. At last I scattered some plants which will fill the whole of our forest. The lighting is really simple. I just use the sky texture with the following settings. And as said earlier, the forest is completely random. So your lighting and forest will never look exactly same as mine. But if you give your best, I know it will look damn good. Anyways, to make it look even better, I added a huge cube and removed the principal BSDF and added a principal volume. And just decrease the density, I set mine to 0.002 and anisotropy to 0.3. Increasing anisotropy will focus the volume where there is more light and decreasing it does the vice versa. So for me, value of 0.3 works best and even gives god rays as well. Now I added animation to the trees which is available in the botanic add-on. But there is no option for adding animation to the grass and plants. So let's just do that manually with geometry nodes. So in the grass geo node add a noise texture, a math node which is set to subtract, vector math node which is set to scale, a random value node which is set to vector and a rotate Euler node. and plug them like this just I have then change the noise texture to 4D now in the W value type hashtag frame forward slash 300 I typed here 24 but the final value was 300 so now on every frame the noise will change and it will animate our grass now you can change the scale of the vector math node to change its intensity and I did the same for the plants and you can do the same for trees as well. For the camera animation, I downloaded the camera Shakeify add-on, which is free and you can use it as well. And I used the close-up preset with very low influence. Then I keyframed the camera in the forward direction. And also don't forget to change the interpolation from Bezier to linear. So by default it is set to Bezier, which will ease in and ease out. At last I keyframe the camera's focus distance in depth of field. So first it will focus towards the rock and then towards the trees. To hide the horizon even more, I added an image of distant forest and the image will look dull so plug the color into the emission as well. Then I was ready for rendering the animation so I will render it at 24 frames per second with a 2K resolution in PNG format. And I will render it at 1000 samples because I was getting a lot of noise. And in the AGX view transform. By the way, I am using Blender 4.0. Then I waited for 30 hours to get the final animation, which I of course post processed in DaVinci Resolve. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, consider subscribing to this channel and i will see you in the next video bye bye